Presentation of Results and Situation of Urban Cenotes in Cozumel On Wednesday, May 23, 2023, government authorities of the island, as well as members of the Water Sciences Unit of the Yucatan Scientific Research Center, SICI, presented a report on the results of the current situation of the urban cenotes on the island of Cozumel and the water resource. These data are the result of a project to analyze the water from the cenotes located within the urban area of Cozumel, with the aim of knowing its quality and the factors that risk the sustainability of the water resource on the largest island of Quintana Roo. Sampling began at the end of September 2022. Dr. Antonio Almazan Viseral, director of the CICES Water Sciences Unit, was in charge of presenting said report. Through the study of 10 cenotes, the elaboration of a report card on the state of integral condition of said bodies of water was achieved. It is important to mention that water is considered as a resource and as an ecosystem. The indicators that were included were 1. Metals in sediment 2. Trophic state 3. Bacteriological fecal indicators 4. Viral fecal indicators 5. Microplastics 6. Zooplankton biodiversity 7. Fish Biodiversity The condition status card shows the results for each of the cenotes and what each of the indicators represents. It also includes the actions that the Cozumel City Council is carrying out to mitigate or reverse unfavorable cases. The work consisted of first evaluating and categorizing the status of each of the indicators and then doing an integrating job to obtain a general index. For the indicator of fecal coliforms, it was observed that in the 10 sites there is a very poor general condition. In the indicator of abundance of microplastics, more varied results are observed. Microplastics currently represent an emerging contamination that is increasingly present in studies of bodies of water. Once all the indicators have been evaluated, a general indicator is obtained where it can be seen that we do not have cenotes in very good condition, but we do not have cenotes in very poor condition either. The average reading is between fair and good. This represents a great possibility and opportunity to reverse the unfavorable conditions of these bodies of water. Regarding the ecosystem state, it was possible to see that there are healthy fish populations. In some cases, invasive species were even detected, such as the Nile tilapia, which competes with local species for food, which can cause a displacement of the original species in these ecosystems. The intention of the project is to generate a water quality monitoring program for the hydrological management of the island of Cozumel through a work agenda for at least the next three years. The recommendation to the Cozumel for You community is to always be prudent with the use that is given to the water coming from the public service or from wells within the properties. And definitely remember that tap water should never be used for human consumption.